nice crowd, beautiful day. You know, it's a good chance to get out in front of people, see where it's at. Um, trying to remember, maybe not as a head coach. Yeah, you know, we've been, I, I guess we've had, you know, you got your spring game stuff, but um, all in all, you know, I'm glad for them, like it keeps saying over and over again. Our, our fan base has been a it's been a very loyal core group of people that have that have gone through it, and for them to have a chance to come out and see some things, and um, you know, again, we're going to need that we're going to need them, and, and I'm glad they're they're here to be part of it. Do you notice any difference in your guys with people watching? Yeah, I think a little bit. With some, I think sometimes you know, especially at this length of camp and everything, it's a little bit extra that, that you know. Uh, uh, juice and energy and and hopefully focus on some things and and again sometimes you know un, under a little, a little bit of a spotlight as you can can produce and things so i think so you know again it's the middle of camp and everything that we're doing it's it's interesting kind of hit those days where you need something that's a great timing to do this we obviously got a chance to see everyone kind of throw today quarterbacks room i was just curious if you could give maybe an update on maybe the progress of that well team. progress they're getting their understanding things again and we talked to them you know we got to be better in accuracy okay uh, you know and I, I think you know again we're looking at the complete package of who's going to lead the team the right way who's going to make great decisions with the ball and then get it to the people that need it and or or you know keep it in their hands and and uh you know, again, it's it's gonna it's gonna go through camp and then some, I think. Uh, but uh, you know, we're making progress. Um, some days are better than others, and and we're gonna keep pushing them. And I think Jim Zbrowski's done a great job of uh, keeping the heat on them, so to speak, and 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 to keep it not not just for when they, it's game day or game night that that they have to go out and produce. So. Um, you know, we're making making steps. Yeah, I know you've mentioned that a lot. Uh, just making the right decisions, getting the play right. Is that as simple as that? The biggest thing, just that you want to see, hey, this guy does it correct. Yeah, you got, we got to make great decisions with the ball. We can't, you know, you know, we can't turn the ball over. I, I think, you know, we've we, we've done our, our analysis of, of where we are in turnovers in the, in in this conference in the last five years and some other things and and what we can do to keep drives drives alive and do other things, momentum, confidence. All those things, and, and that's part of the position, and uh, and then of course the leadership component, and 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 again, it's it's a lot at them with us in a short period of time of demanding them to make sure everybody's lined up correctly, doing things, motion shifts, the whole thing, and we're we're challenging them, and then then of course when we get into game week preparation stuff, then then we'll 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 put in what we can handle enough to be successful. Lance, I know getting to know these guys, being around them is all brand new. Right. Uh, Generally speaking, though, with with fall camp, would you have markers that kind of give you an indication of we're here or we need to be here or, or, or anything I don't like know. that? I, I think each and every team is different, and I, I think uh, we've had the conversation of, of you're trying to evaluate yourself, and and yet you, you got to evaluate who they're going up against at times and the experience and where that person's at. So there's a lot of factors that that can give you. Uh, maybe false confidence at times but also on the other hand hey we're a lot better than we thought we were based on some things and 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 then again as as we talked many times about how we practice and rotate that um the matchups aren't always it might be a five-year you know senior super senior against a, a guy who's been on campus for three months so but at the same time it, it, it allows us to evaluate where that young player is, but also maybe something other. So I don't know if there's pure markers, but um, that, that we go by. But again, here shortly, I'll you know have the have the coaches give me kind of a synopsis of where they're at in their position and what they feel, and uh, where where we have to take the next steps. Lance, what have you seen from the offensive line? So far? Well, you know, I, I think it's it's coming together. I think there's things. Um, we had officials in the other day, and and they thought there were there were some things that. They were here in the spring, and, and they thought some there just some smaller details on on small things were definitely improved, um, just in lineup mechanics and downfield and some things like that. And, and that's those are those, those are small positives in this thing as we go. I think Scott is getting a, a good idea of of you know where the pieces may fall and, and where we got to start doing it. And uh, you know they're they're understanding uh, you know what we're asking them to do and. Uh, you know, especially, yeah, well, both protecting the quarterback, establishing a run game. But I, uh, I like where it's heading.
As far as picking that quarterback right away in week one, how important is just keeping them in there and continuing to give them like game reps for a well, progression and development standpoint? Yeah, that's that's going to be the balancing act because unless somebody clearly pulls away, you know, the, the thing is, yeah, you want somebody to kind of go through it, fight, get the confidence in that. You don't want them to sit there and think that every every throw is is, is the one that uh, you know impressed that they're going to be taken out. So, um, and then then again, if you have somebody else that's uh, um, you know, practicing and, and right on their heels, do they deserve it? So that that's kind of the, the kind of the decisions uh, we'll have to make as we progress, I guess. Well, I was looking back at some of your previous years in Buffalo, and it seems like you've you've stuck with one guy for the most part, barring injuries. Is is there something to that? Is it just that guy kind of emerged among uh, a group yeah, both uh, both you know, and like Jim Zabrowski and I talk. We we both played the position. We know what it's like, and you know you have to get some things. And if like you said, like I just said, is if you're going to play like every throw is based on whether or not you're staying in the game or not. I, I don't know if you're ever going to keep you know progressing or, or the team's going to be what it really needs to be. So, um, but. You know, if there's packages that certain guys can help, we're never going to say that that's not an option as well. Good time for one more. Defensively, what do you like about what you saw today? We saw quite a few takeaways. Yeah, you know, again, you know, I like the I like the the athleticism of our secondary. They are still very young, and, and of course, that's that's the thing we challenge them with every day. But um, I think they're coming along. You see some young players that can make plays. Um, you know, and then when it goes live, we got to see when the whole thing comes together. But uh, yeah, that's one there. I think our defensive front is understanding, coming together, gelling as well. And uh, you know, our linebacker crew is uh, you know got a lot on them to get people lined up, and it, it's it's coming together there. So as in nine practices in, I, I I guess going back to benchmarks, I'm pleased where we're at, but uh, never satisfied. Do you think the defense is ahead of the offense right now? Uh, usually they are, you know, and should be. But uh, we'll see. There, there's been some days and some periods within our practices where offense has had some pretty big, pretty big moments as well, and it's starting to show some guys that can can be some big play people for us. We hope, and, and I think that can happen.